Welcome to the 10th Leica GS07 Quick Start video. This video focuses on creating a cut sheet from the data we staked in video 9, starting with defining the export format and settings. We finished the previous video inside the Stake Points app, with numerous points staked out, so that is where we'll start this video, but first we need to ensure that our USB memory device is plugged into our CS20's USB port as shown. With the USB device inserted, we can continue by pressing FN followed by Tools. Here, in our app-specific toolbox, we can select the Export Cut Sheet option. We are then presented with a screen where we can define and create our cut sheet. Entering into the Cut Sheet Definition field allows us to use previously defined cut sheet styles. As we do not have any, the list is empty. Therefore, we need to press New to make a new definition. We can give this definition a name, pick how the values are separated, select to use a header row or not, and then define which values are output and in what order. Here we'll select to output design point ID, design height, Stake tight, the cut or fill value, and the ID of the stored staked point. With this configured, we can press OK to store the definition, and then OK again to select it. Next, we can select where to export the data to. Here, we'll select USB and the data folder. We can leave the file name as it is. Pressing OK from here would have our file created, but there's one thing we should check first, the export settings. We can access these by pressing FN, then settings. From here, we can set the default file extension, for example, CSV, and we can decide if we want to export the entire job or just a section of it. With these settings done, we can press OK to confirm them and then OK again to have the cut sheet created. Once the export is complete, we get a notification and are returned to the Stake Points app. Next, we'll take a look at the file to review it. We can view the cut sheet from the USB device, for example, by putting it into a computer and navigating to the data folder. We can then open the created file and can see all of our results are displayed exactly as we had configured in an easy to understand format. With that done, we're finished and this video can come to a close. Thank you for watching.